Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to be talking about Earth Angels. And if you want your own personal reading, you could go to my website. My website is down below in the description box. Um, you click on that and then it's going to be like three little lines in the right hand corner. Um, and then you click on that, it's going to say bookings. And when you click on bookings, it's going to show off like a calendar. Okay, or like it's going to come up with like different types of readings. And it's, when you click on the reading that you want, it's going to come up with a calendar. And right underneath is also the time okay that i'm available but yeah i wanted to talk about earth angels i want to start this series because i feel like it's very important to know what you are there's many other things besides earth angels there's indigo children there's crystal children there's rainbow children there's light workers there's star seeds and i just feel like it's very important to know what you are okay so earth angels are basically angels from heaven and kind of think about it like this in heaven <laughs> it's kind of like earth okay but it's humorous. and if you think about earth and how many people are on this earth think about that like the billions of people but double it basically god chooses a couple of <laughs> angels that he feels like you know feels like they need to kind of experience earth it kind of puts them on this earth to teach people that God is pure love at the end of the day kind of like have like this deeper spiritual connection with God this is one of like the main 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 reason why he puts earth angels on this earth to remind people that everything is going to be okay to make the earth more lighter you know there's just so much chaos that's going around and you know when we come across the earth angel it's kind of like a sign of relief like <sighs> you know what i mean like it's just it just feels like like wow like i know god is with me i know god is watching over me because i came across this earth angel i give you 12 12 <laughs> 12 signs how you know that you're an earth angel so one of the signs how you know you're an earth angel is that you're constantly wanting to change your hair. So one of the main colors you will want to change your hair is either a light brown or like a copper color, like orange or like a penny color. A penny is basically copper. A copper color or you want to put it um, platinum blonde or you want to put it bright red and you're just constantly changing your hair color or wanting to change your hair color or hairstyle okay so that's one of the signs how you know that you're an earth angel two the second sign how you know that you're an earth angel is that you always have open ears and it just seems like people are always attracted to talking to you it's just like sometimes random people could come talk to you and tell you their life problems like today like i experienced um a guy when i was at the bank and he was telling me that he was from costa rica i didn't never ask him he just came up to me he told me that he's from costa rica and he has family there and that he's just so down that you know it's hard for his family to come over here it's just like some immigration issues and i told him i said don't worry i said your family's going to come you know just constantly pray to god I do see in this amount of months your family's going to come and he doesn't even know me and he was like are you sure and I was like yes I was sure that your family's gonna come and he was like <sighs> he was like I knew I had to talk to you and literally he just walked away <laughs> and I'm just like okay you know um, so sometimes you kind of experience a lot of things like that or sometimes you have a friend that constantly wants to talk to you or uh, a co-worker that constantly wants to talk to you um, or just like I said, like random people. It could be someone in the supermarket that's just like so drawn to you. Someone that's like making you a sandwich <laughs> or cutting up your meat or, or your vegetables or your salads and, and, and your fruits. And every single time that they see you, they're just so happy. The third sign how you know you're an earth angel is that you connect a lot with animals. So you just have kind of like this deep bond with animals. You might just want to be a veterinarian. Um... You just might always have pets. Um, like I have, I always have pets. Like I had a turtle. I have, I have a puppy here. You know, um, <laughs> I always had a, like 
cats, especially when I'm back home in Honduras. I have cats. I currently have a new dog. Um, and uh, I have chickens. Like, you're just constantly surrounded by animals. You feel like there's, like, a deeper connection with animals. Um, you feel like you could just kind of hear them also, you know, talking back to you. Also, how you can know your earth angel is that you want to be kind of far away from like the city and the chaos you want to be near nature so you could be wanting to live or go on vacation by the mountains or by a river or a lake um waterfalls um the ocean okay um or, beach, or even the jungle you know uh, like in honduras um, i have like a view of pico bonito and pico bonito it has jaguars it has so it has toucans it has just so many different butterflies it has every snow leopards like every animal that you could kind of think of and, uh, and monkeys so sometimes we could kind of see monkeys like near our house and different color birds and i'm just like this is honestly the best okay the fourth thing i think well that's the fifth <laughs> we're gonna just roll with it um the fourth thing how you know that you're an earth angel is that you don't watch too much tv or you tend not to spend too much time on social media um i try not to watch too much tv because i feel like tv really affects me if i watch something it's usually on youtube and it's something real funny and then i like get off because i just feel like it, it just affects me too much um you tend not to be on your phone a lot so let's say if you're like your family or your friends are constantly calling you you're just like you just look at your phone and you don't pick up or you're just too busy you know um earth angels they try to stay away from technology they like to kind of have face-to-face -face conversations um you know facetime is really amazing <laughs> you know when it comes to earth angels but they try not to stay on the phone for too long um, the fifth thing how you know that you're an earth angel you do not like problems at all so you try to avoid confrontation at all times. If someone comes to you with a problem or they come to you with an attitude, you tend to kind of have like anxiety or you try to try to <laughs> calm the things down, the situation down. And you always say like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Or you just kind of explain yourself on, uh, on the situation. You just try to avoid confrontation at all times. You try to avoid location that's just like so problematic and just so like oh my god do you know what i mean um just too much too much you try to avoid confrontation all the time the sixth thing <laughs> the sixth thing how you know that you're an earth angel is that you are a humanitarian you always constantly trying to give back so you always wanting to donate let's say to an organization or to like a small business or to church like what was the video that I did guys? It was about mermaids, right? And what I did, <laughs> I put a video on how to donate to the, you know, to clean the ocean. So we're always trying to find a way to give back to the universe, okay? We're always trying to find a way to help, okay? Like, um, sometimes as an earth angel, you might just see like a friend that's struggling with money or uh, a family member that's struggling or just like a random person in the street and you just be like here you know here this is going to help you like one time in Manhattan it was pouring rain pouring rain and everybody was just passing by a guy it was kind of looked very young probably like around 1920 and he was saying that like I'm starving I'm starving like it was just like he was even begging for money to like have it in his pocket and I passed by him and then I said no I started walking back and I was like excuse me are you really hungry and he was like yes and I was like do you want to go to subway and he was like yes and I was like you could get anything that you want from subway okay and he was like are you sure and I was like yeah so we went to subway and he got and i forgot what sandwich he got he got like a foot long or something i don't know and then i was like do you want like us like us like us like a it's like what's that crap called like a culotta type of thing it's like uh, from dunkin donuts and he was like i never had that before and i was like well you gotta try it today because it's so good <laughs> and then i told him i was like you should get the, you should get the vanilla bean one with extra whipped cream he said i'm gonna get that so he ordered that and he was like god bless you 
And I was like, yeah, no problem. And I gave him an extra five dollars if he wanted like a drink or something like that. And I just went on my day. Okay, so sometimes we're always constantly trying to give back. <laughs> the seventh thing how you know that you're an earth angel is that you're constantly experiencing traumatic stuff. So you might just see a murder right in front of you. You might just have like a loved one that dies unexpectedly you might just go through physical abuse mental abuse it's just always something traumatic you might just lose your baby um it's always something crazy number eight how you know your earth angel is that you have a deep connection with children so it's just like when you see children like you just <laughs> like you just go crazy like oh my god like all oh, these babies like it's just so much i love them so it's just like you just have this obsession with kids you feel like you can connect with kids you just feel like <laughs> when you talk to them it's just like oh my god like my little best friends like it's just like a cute little deep connection with babies like it's just like you kind of understand the google gagas like <laughs> it's so crazy um earth angels they really have a hard time conceiving um that's kind of like the the sad part of being an earth angel so they're constantly trying and constantly trying and constantly trying for a baby and it just seems like oh my god like we just get at a depressing point like oh my god like i just want my baby one of the main things that we could do as an earth angel to bear a child is connecting with archangel gabriel he is the angel of fertility and mother mary okay you can put on a blue candle for you know a baby boy or a pink candle for a baby girl and a white candle in the middle for the holy spirit earth angel we also tend to connect with children with autism with down syndrome we just have a special place in our heart for those children and many other illnesses number nine so you're very empathetic so you're very emotional you're very you understand what people go through you know you just you just connect you know you just there it's just say like, yes like i understand you even though we're not going through the same thing but i understand you you're very empathetic towards other people's emotions okay we just feel like eh, it's just only right to hear another person out you know because it hurts when no one hears you or, or, or is by your side you're very gentle towards other people's you know problems and situations and um, that's just i just think that's like pretty cool and this we always kind of have like um like a judgment free mindset you know i always say especially when it comes to the readings whoever has done a reading with me my place is not to judge even when i do <laughs> i i try you know especially when it comes to celebrities i always say like i'm not here to judge like i try my hardest not to judge that's not my place i can't be doing that all the time you know um, because i just feel like it's not right it's not right <sighs> you always try to make people feel safe Okay, you always try to make people feel like, like they could be like, like they could be like kind of like oh like that's my best friend. You know what I mean? Kind of like that best friend type of feeling, that comfort feeling. It's like when you get what's my bunny. It's like you could get like a bunny and kind of like snuggle with it and all that stuff. You know. <laughs> so um, you always try to make people feel that way that they can like really trust you and feel safe with you and feel comfortable with you and just feel like number 11 <laughs> how you can know um that your earth angel is you're constantly crying about going back home so you're constantly crying about god take me back take me back i can't take it no more god this is too much please I can't, you know, take crying for God to take you back home. You're constantly exhausted, you're constantly tired, you're constantly in your head. And it's just like, how more can I can I go through this? This is just like too much. Um, those are all signs that you're an earth angel. You just feel like you're, you're out of place here at times too. Um, you just feel like you're uncomfortable. Okay, and this is going to, I believe, number 12. That you just always felt out of place. You just always felt like no one was actually your friends you always had like three to four friends maybe two maybe one um you was pretty much a loner um but also when it comes to earth angels you don't have a problem to to 
introduce yourself to people you know be like oh hi my name is this you know or even you like do you want to be my friend even if they say no or even when it came to like a birthday party you can invite so many kids to your birthday party maybe like two or three show up number 13 number 13 right is constantly hearing angels constantly hearing angels talking to you constantly hearing saints and you know ascendant masters you want to call them ascendant masters ascendant masters and other deities talking to you okay your intuition is very 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 high you are like it's just like <laughs> like you can't just go on like a day and and, and not hear them you know um, extremely 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 sensitive like I always tell people like I'm constantly hearing angels I'm constantly hearing saints I'm constantly seeing other deities but I'm just like sometimes I'm like oh my god <laughs> sometimes I could be with like a crowd of people and I could just look at a person and they could just tell me everything about that person and I'm just like oh snap <laughs> so juicy but it's like they're constantly talking to you talking talking to you about other people talking to you about yourself and what you need to improve on and and, and just just talking to you basically having a conversation with you um you constantly hearing noise and sound like or you're constantly seeing the same type of numbers or one two one two three 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 four 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 uh What's the other numbers? Uh, 911. Like, it's just different numbers um, you kind of connect with sometimes. Eventually, you know, Earth Angels, they kind of go through like a crazy experience and stuff like that. But they always go back to what they're supposed to be doing is speaking the word of God and just wanting people to get close and wanting people to get back and just reminding people that God is just a pure love and He's He, does want it, he doesn't want anything bad to happen to anyone. You know, he just always want people to be on the good side, his side. So yeah, guys, hopefully you like this video. I tried to make this video kind of like, you know, like you like talking to a friend and stuff like that. Um, not too like, oh my God, like this video is so serious. Even though this, this is a serious video. Let's have a conversation in a little chat box down below. Uh, yeah, I will speak to you there. Mucho gusto. Hope you have a lovely day. Bye-bye.